Oh, I think I messed up here. Oh. Oh. Okay. I now see where this game stands. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Temple of Terror by uh, Technando and Andel? Andel. Andeel? Nope, I'm not. Yep, nope, nope. I'm just going to roll with that. Uh, you're probably asking yourself, hey, weren't you just doing Pumpkin Manor? I was. I broke the map. In my infinite wisdom to try and solve a puzzle, I broke the map. Don't ask, just accept this is my reality now. So instead, I decided let's just start a new map. And kind of keeping with spooky season, Temple of Terror sounded absolutely delightful. It is a brand new map out on minecraftmaps.com. Link in the description below. And uh, once again, if you guys want to see any more maps, in, if you want to see any maps in particular, please link them to me. I'll be happy to put them in the queue and give them a try. Right now, there is no other maps in the queue. So if you could help a brother out, that'd be great. And because I just realized that how microphones work, you know, I gave it the old, you know, chest bump piece, finger guns. Pew, pachoo, pachoo, finger guns. And also, if you could, you know, like the videos and subscribe, always appreciated. You'll feel good helping out small YouTubers. Pachoo, pachoo. Okay, let's just start this map. Whoa. Um, what the hell just happened? Ability, jump man, you are able to jump. Hang on, what the hell just happened? Did I miss an exposition dump? Am I missing sound? Let's make sure sound's on. Um, so, uh, you need to try and escape. To do so, you will need to offer souls to the shrine at the end of each path you take with each ability you have been given. Once you've completed the paths and offer up the souls you collected, you will be set free by the evil that is imprisoned in the shrine itself. So I'm making a theoretical deal with the devil to get out? I see stuff, like, all around. Wait, what? Oh, I see. So do I need to do something like this? Damn it. Nailed it. Ah! I want to get that chest. I want that booty. Son of a... Female dog. Ha-ha! All that for a locked chest. I don't think the buttons are anything. Raw gold. What do I do with raw gold? Am I even... I don't even know if I'm where I'm supposed to be at this point. Is that another chest in there? No. Okay. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I went down a path I didn't know if I was prepared to go down. Oh look, an offering. That chest is locked. Cool, I have an offering. What do I do with said offering? Oh look, another offering. I have two offerings. Oh my sweet Christ, what is that? Haha, -ha, parkour. Damn it! Why is every chest in the... Can I... Nope. Nope. Alright. So, this... Oh. Wow. This thing sent me really far back. Is this a checkpoint at the very least? I don't know. So, this game definitely strikes me as a combination puzzle map, parkour map. I lost all my offerings. Well, I'm not going back for that one. Oh wait, no, is that one, was that one like super hard to get to? Hmm. 
Man, I don't know. Oh, I think I messed up here. Oh, oh, okay. I now see where this game stands. I don't like where this game stands. <laughs> okay, so this map is just going to be me failing to parkour for the next. I don't think it actually gave me a runtime. Yes, so this map is going to be me failing to parkour for the next several hours. That's not challenging. I, I'm really starting to see where this game... Oh my gosh, this is Dark Souls. This is Dark Souls. That was almost really cool, by the way. Like, that was almost super cool. Like, okay, so I do, so far I don't like how the save points do or do not work. Sweet Christ, am I really that bad? Okay, note to everybody, I'm not doing any parkour maps, ever. It would be too embarrassing. Actually, I dredging up, like, deep forgotten memories um i do remember doing one parkour map a while ago no i thought that was the solution so i anyways i do remember doing a parkour map a very long time ago uh it was a planet one uh planet it was it was like it was really cool it was like this sweet christ it was this whole planet based parkour map and for the life of me, I don't remember what the name of it was. Stop me if you've heard this one before, but it was a MiG-5 map. So, you know, it, it definitely passed the quality test. I think it's been the only parkour map he's ever done, maybe? So I get here. Oof. Was almost really bad. That was really bad. I wonder if I can jump on these push buttons. No. Or can I? Nope. Push buttons are are uh, are a no go. I think I need to get like a running death total. Where was I? Oh, right. I was talking about the uh, Minecraft map. Uh, I remember doing a a map for... Running through a map for uh, Mick 5 a while ago. I don't remember what the map was called. It was some planet-based, like, space adventure map. It was super cool. It was planet, no, that was, that is the solution. So I need to jump off of that. Okay, I know what to do now. So it was, it was a really cool like interstellar plant. You're basically parkouring around burning planets. The setting was absolutely astounding. The scale of the place was immense. I hit the jump button, I promise. The, the scale of the place was... I, the scale of the map was just amazing. Uh, beautifully crafted, as per a lot of Mick, Mick 5's maps. Um, if you're not familiar at all with uh, Mick 5, I highly encourage you guys to go check out... Uh, actually, just like sort by my most popular videos. Those are all uh, Mick 5 productions. Nice! Nope, I wasn't supposed to jump there. And the maps are all—they're usually—they're usually adventure maps. I think the 
parkour map was like a one-off where he was just trying different things but they're all absolutely beautifully done maps they're the so the so mic 5's adventure maps are the standard by which i hold every other map to uh which definitely goes to show you know you know just how highly i, I think of those maps but they're so that's whenever i judge a map uh, whether that whether you think that's fair or not, I judge I judge the map based on my experience with Mick Five's maps. Uh, you know they're uh, they're phenomenal maps. Always very well done. Wait, yeah, I'm now able to crawl. What does that mean? What does I'm able to crawl mean? Well, obviously, oh! So how do I crawl? Is there an ability for crawl? How do I crawl? Hang on, let's see here. Options, controls. Is there a sneak sprint? Let's sneak sprint. Auto jump off. Very good. Attack, destroy, prick block. Just like crawl into that vent, or is that not how that works? So if I'm able to crawl, what do I do? Oh, not that apparently. Clearly I need to go in here, but how do I crawl? I am is like all aboard the struggle bus. Options, what, what is there a con button for con sprint and sneak? Walk backwards. Is there, is there a button for crawl? Do I have to Google this? I'm, I'm looking this up right now, because... C doesn't work, shift doesn't work. Maybe I'm not supposed to crawl through that hole per se. Maybe I come out of there. But then where do I go? I don't see any place else where I can crawl to. Maybe this is a puzzle map. Okay. Ability. Crawl, man. You are able to crawl. But crawl where? Well, I'm going to end the video right here as I puzzle my way through how to actually crawl. Uh, when we come back next time, uh, hopefully I'll know what the hell I'm doing. But unlikely, because it's me. 
So until then, guys, be seeing ya. Oh my gosh, I'm the smartest person on the whole face of the planet. Suck it, Einstein.